welcome, welcome to my channel. So today we will be doing a pedicure at home and I also will be putting a Gel X nail on my big toes. So stay tuned. So first thing I like to do with my pedicures are just soak my feet in the water and then I usually push back my cuticles with a cuticle pusher. What I also like to do is just clean up underneath the nails. And I just take the other end of the cuticle pusher to do that. And then you'll see me here just cutting my nails down. I do like my toenails pretty short. All right, so it's time to foul them. I'll just foul them down so they're a nice square shape. Of course, the big toenail, it is broken, so that's what we'll be applying the tip to that one. So I put some callus remover on my little mini pumice bar, and I'm just doing the bottom of my heels and all around the bottom of my foot, just to get it nice and smooth. And then you'll want to cut off any of the dead cuticle area that you see with a cuticle nipper. All right, you just dry your toes off and then you're ready to get started. So I did go ahead and do step one and two already off camera. And then now I'm applying the extend gel to the bottom of my nail and I also did scuff up the inside of the nail okay and then you apply the same way that you do nails you put it on at a 45 degree angle until you see the extend gel come to the free edge and I'm just cleaning up around it with any spillage that I have and then I'm just using my flash curing lamp I am using a size zero natural square nail and there you go it's on there You know, just want to do the same thing to the other toe now. Next step, you do the one minute cure underneath the light. And then these toenails are ready for me to go ahead and trim them down. I just get as close as I can to my skin. And then usually that isn't short enough for me, so I'll go in with my nail cutter and I'll just make them a little shorter. And I'm just giving them a good foul here. I do like my toenails pretty square. You'll see me here just kind of putting them side by side, making sure they're the same length. Then you'll just scuff up the top, helps the gel stick better, get all the shininess and all that off the nails. Put some acetone on top of a paper towel and you'll just want to wipe off all the dust.
I'm gonna put my little toe separators in. So you'll want to use a base coat for all of the small toes, so the four small toes. You don't need a base coat on the oppressed nail though. And you'll want to put that under the lamp and cure it. And I just like to go around mine to make sure I don't have any gel on my skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color. Again, you'll just go in and make sure that you don't have any color on your skin. After each one or each coat you put down, you do want to make sure you cure it underneath the lamp before you add the second coat of color on. After I do the first coat, I'll go ahead and with the second coat and cure them, and then I'll be right back. All done. I did two coats of the color and then a top coat. Now I'm just styling them up a little bit again. You can use any lotion of your choice and I'm just lotioning up my feet just to put some moisture back into them. My pedicure is all done and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more videos. Bye!